안녕하세요. Hello, K friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am Eun Suk Jung. It's always so good to see you here on my channel. On my channel, I have introduced a few different types of Chon. This coming week will be Korean Lunar New Year. So I want to introduce one of Korean holiday cuisines. That is a Korean savory beef pancake, Yukjeon. Beef is cut into bite-sized pieces, seasoned with salt and pepper, coated with flour, dip in egg wash, and finally pan-fried. It sounds like a simple cuisine, but it's also very delicious, right? Well, let's get started! Slice one pound of beef sirloin or tenderloin thinly. I got the meat cut with the thickness of bulgogi at a Korea march. I got the beef sirloin. Use a kitchen towel to remove blood. If you don't remove blood well, the pan will get messy when cooking and the color will not be good. If you remove the blood from the beef well, it tastes much better. If you leave the meat in the freezer for about an hour and cut it, you can easily cut it thin. Sprinkle a bit of salt on the meat. Sprinkle a bit of ground pepper too. Slice a piece of green onion. Cut the onion into bite-sized pieces. Chop up a bit of red chili pepper. If you don't have it, you can skip it. Add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce. Add 3 tablespoons of water. Add a half a tablespoon of red pepper powder. Add a half a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Add 1 teaspoon of minced garlic. Add a half a tablespoon of honey. Add the red pepper that you just chop up. Mix all the ingredients well. Prepare for eggs in a bowl. Add one teaspoon of minced garlic. Adding garlic prevents the meaty odor and makes it taste deep. Add about half teaspoon of salt. Mix it well. I'm going to use the potato starchy powder today. Coat the seasoned meat evenly with starchy powder or flour. Coat the meat evenly on the starchy and shake off the excess. You can repeat the rest in this way. Pour generous amounts of oil into a preheated pan and coat the meat well with egg wash. When you cook it, you can cook it slowly to become golden brown on medium and low heat. If you grill over high heat, the outside will burn easily and the inside will not be cooked. The meat is thin, so you don't have to cook it for that long. Cook for 1-2 to two minutes on each side. Put the cooked chon on the kitchen towel. You can repeat the rest in this way. I will cut it in half so that it's easy to eat. Let me put it on the plate. I put the sauce that I made a while ago in the middle. When you eat it, put the sauce on top of the yukjeon. It will be very delicious. Hope you give it a try, this delicious yukjeon. Most of the ingredients that I used for cooking yukjeon are very common. Just try to get nice quality beef and slice it thinly. I hope you enjoyed my episode today. If you think my video was useful, please push the like and subscription button. Have a great Korean Lunar New Year! See you next time. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.